all right we're back it's autodesk 3ds max 2018 day video two actually this is quarter one week one day one still if you're following along in the class and today we are going to go through all the different sort of uh setup that we need to make sure that we're ready for everything else we're going to do all year so we're going to start out with setting some preferences now it's not going to be a really long video but you might have to stop and pause it here and there to make sure you get all of the things uh, set up so that everything you do looks exactly the same as the things that I do so when you first start up you're going to get the quad view which is what it's loading right now you can see it's still thinking quite a bit about what's going on and when it is ready, we're actually going to be up here and customize a lot. We're going to adjust some other things. But the first thing that we're going to see is this amazing voxel video. And it's going to go through some other stuff that's really neat. The viewport, the scene explorer, the workspace, command panel, all this other stuff. Feel free to go ahead and look through that. Um, we will be using tumble and pan and all a lot. Uh, and But for now, go ahead and down here right here go ahead and click this show this welcome screen at startup and that way it's not going to pop up again all right so now you can close that so what we need to do today is set up a few different things first things first we're going to go all the way up here to customize okay in customize we are going to look at preferences actually let's start with unit setup because it's it's closer to the top we'll start at the top we'll do preferences in a second so unit setup select that in our game design work we are going to mostly be using the metric system because the unreal 4 engine is set up in the metric system and the metric system is based off of base 100 which makes a lot of sense um right now it's probably set to meters but we would like to set to centimeters so set your metric to centimeters and click ok next back up to customize we're going to go to preferences it's at the bottom of the customize panel right down here when that pops up we are going to change our scene undo which is already selected right now it's set to 20 and if you are a genius you could probably leave it there but i am not so i'm going to change it to 500. Um, that's kind of a lot and it may be a little scary uh, if you're running with very little ram or something like that but most of the computers in my classroom only have four gigs of RAM I believe and they don't have that much trouble with 500 if you do start seeing weird errors then knock that back to maybe 200 and we'll see if that fixes it anyway for now let's click OK great next viewport settings you see we actually have four viewports whenever you right click inside each one of these viewports you see a little gold box pop up around it um, most of the time we're gonna work in this perspective viewport which is really cool but down here, I want you to see this little plus. That little plus, click it, and at the bottom, we're going to configure viewports. In configure viewports, we are going to change the display performance. Now this will actually affect all of your viewports at once, but for display performance, we want to change the texture map to 4096. Right now it's set to 512, so 4096. That is still a multiple or a binary number uh, which is helpful for the computer to logically use um, so we're going to keep with 4096 and hit apply all right that applies instantly now it doesn't you're, you're not going to we're not going to deal with that for about two more weeks but if we set it now um, it'll be helpful later uh, i will go over this again in two weeks to make sure that we remember this is set next on down the line to the sixth tab to hit statistics now statistics allow you when we are working with boxes that have multiple vertices or if we're grabbing edges with a select tool we want to know how many we've selected because it's going to be really important if we're welding things together that we welded all the things we thought we did so we're going to change some of this here we're going to change from polygon we're going to deselect polygon select triangle edge make sure vertex keeps selected and frames per second we're going to deselect because we don't really care about that not now and then under on the right side instead of total we're going to do total and selection and hit apply now once again you're not going to see anything but you're going to have to take my word for it when we hit seven the hotkey seven on the number line later 
it'll pull up our statistics and that will be really helpful now finally we have the view cube i don't use the view cube um, and we're not really going to use it if you'd like to leave it on you can in the past it used to cause a lot of uh, errors and crashes so i'm used to turning it off uh, if you'd like to leave it on i suppose you can at your own risk but for now i'm going to turn mine off so i'm going to select that hit apply and you'll watch when i hit apply the view to view to <laughs> view cube goes away there we go okay great that was it pretty easy that's the standard setup for quarter one week one day one nice short little video and we're done so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video video number three